Those who have been watching K-dramas for a long time definitely know who Park Min Young is. She is known in the industry for her lovely expressions and doe-like eyes. Here is the story of Park Min Young. Min Young was born on March 4, 1986 in Seoul, South Korea. In a simple traditional Korean household. She admits that her childhood was usually uneventful and the family went on with their individual lives. Her developed interest in films and acting ever since she was a kid, and that interest drove her for the rest of her teenage years. Min Yoon admitted that she didn't consider herself pretty enough in elementary school and as she wanted to become an actress, she wanted to look flawless. Park went into depression for some time, and when her mother sensed that, she talked to her about a possible plastic surgery, which little Min Yun agreed to and went ahead with it. She said that she had a crooked nose and weird eyelids and she got rid of all that with the help of surgery. Upon asked by a leading Korean interviewer about grading her childhood days out of 100, she gave it a 60. The life-changing event for her was a move to the USA as an exchange student. She mentioned that she took that as a great opportunity to learn English and more about their culture. After completing her high school education, Park had to decide which college path she wanted to pursue, which would determine the direction of the rest of her life. She decided to pursue theater studies. In February 2013, Park graduated from Dongguk University in Seoul. Park made her entertainment debut in an SK Telecom commercial in 2005. She launched her acting career a year later in the hit sitcom High Kick. The show wasn't particularly popular, but it put Park on TV producers' radars, and they eventually approached her for some more significant parts. She continued to appear in television dramas, in roles such as the only daughter of a notorious gangster in I Am Sam in 2007, and Agumiho, nine-tailed fox in Korean mythology, in an episode of horror-themed drama Hometown of Legends in 2008. In 2008, she appeared in the MV of the popular song Haru Haru from Big Bang. In 2009, in the historical drama Jamyung Go, she portrayed a wicked princess. In Running, Gu, she portrayed a young woman caught between two marathon runners in 2010. She was a famous TV actress by then, but she was still waiting for one defining role of her career that would put her among the top actresses. Park's breakthrough came with the 2010 drama Sung Kyung Kwan Scandal, a coming-of-age drama in which her character, an intelligent and resourceful young woman, disguises herself as a boy in order to enter the most prestigious learning institution in Joseon. The series also got her three KBS Drama Awards for her magnificent performance. In 2011, she appeared as the lead female protagonist in City Hunter, South Korean adaptation of the successful Japanese manga of the same name. The series revolved around a vigilante out to seek justice and his love affair with a secret agent. Later that year, she made her big screen debut in the horror film The Cat, about a woman who becomes consumed by fear after she adopts a cat found at the site of a mysterious death. Park's portrayal was appreciated in the film, but it also turned out to be her only film role in her entire career until now. Park next appeared in the melodrama Glory Jane, in the role of a nurse's aide who becomes involved with a former baseball player. In 2012, she got to play a very interesting double role in another manga adaptation titled D.R. Jean. The series revolved around time traveling and Park played two roles one as a woman in the contemporary world, and other a noble woman from 1860. She had a fantastic 2014 thanks to her opportunities to play back-to-back -back main parts in two popular shows. First she appeared in A New Leaf, a legal drama and then a reporter in Healer, for which she won the Excellence Award for her performance at the 2014 KBS Drama Awards. The latter one also unexpectedly became a big hit in China. In 2015, she made her first international appearance with the Chinese series titled Braveness of the Main, a period drama based on a very successful novel titled Silk Nights. Park next starred as a lawyer in the Korean drama Remember on SBS from late 2015 to early 2016 and played a queen in the historical drama Queen for Seven Days, which aired in 2017. 
In September 2017, it was confirmed that Park will be a fixed cast member in Netflix's variety show Busted. In 2018, Park Seo Joon and her were cast in the romantic comedy drama What's Up with Secretary Kim. The success of the series in terms of viewership helped Park gain further notoriety. Park held her first My Day fan event in October since her debut 12 years prior. In 2019, Park starred in her second romantic comedy drama Her Private Life alongside Kim Jae-wook. Park played Son diok who works as a curator at an art museum but spends her time outside of work as a passionate fangirl of idol groups. In 2022, Park starred in the JTBC romance drama Forecasting Love and Weather alongside Song Kang, playing Jean Hak Young, a general forecaster at Korea Meteorological Administration. After that followed Love and Contract. Park Min Young has been linked with many actors in the past, but maintains that she is currently single. She was previously in a relationship with Lee Min Ho, but the couple broke up due to busy schedules, it was disclosed on January 25, 2012. Park Min Young was also rumored to be in a relationship with her co-stars, Park Seo Joon and Song Joong Ki, but she has denied it. The most recent relationship that happened that we are aware of is with a businessman, Kong Jong Hyun. The couple split soon after Dispatch made the affair public. For his suspected offenses concerning one of Korea's biggest Bitcoin exchanges, Bitham, Kong Jong Hyun was detained. According to reports, on February 13, Min Young was summoned in as a witness and under investigation for her alleged involvement in Kong Jong Hyun's offenses, which allegedly include stock manipulation and embezzlement. She denied all the allegations. Sadly, she could have just been unlucky in picking a man and did not know anything bad was going on. After not so good stuff, let's mention her good deeds. On March 7, 2022, Park donated 100 million won to the Hope Bridge Disaster Relief Association to help the victims of the massive wildfire that started in Olgen, Gyeongbuk, and has spread to Samcheek, Kongwon. If you are interested, she has a YouTube channel. However, she hasn't posted there for two years. Min Young had a long career and a successful one. Hopefully, we will see her in many more dramas, as well. It would be amazing if she would act in a movie again. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.